Hey everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. My name is Janet. We are on our way home. Melissa and I went dress shopping today for an event she has coming up. And on my way home, I decided to go ahead and get cabbage. I have been researching how to can cabbage. Now, you won't find a recipe for canning cabbage in your modern recipe books, but if you go back a few years, you can easily find it. Now, I have seen anywhere from 35 to 40, uh, 55 minutes for canning it, but we'll get to that in a minute. I just wanted to let you know I have three heads of cabbage. I'm thinking we should get uh, 12, is it 12 to 14? Lissa's patting her fingers, I better hush. Okay, I'll see you at the house. Okay, her arm was getting tired, sorry about that. So anyway, what I was saying is I'm not sure exactly how many quarts we're going to get. We'll figure that out once we get there. So I'll meet you in the kitchen at the house. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. Now, I'm going to show you just in case there's someone out there ooh, his, who has never cut up a cabbage. Let me just walk you through that really fast. What I do is I sit it with the cork facing the ceiling and then I just start chopping off the edges. Because in the middle of this cabbage, there is a core, and you don't want the core in this. I need a bigger knife, don't I? I don't know why I grabbed this one. It's just my favorite. I always grab it. So once you get the sides off, you can start coming back around the corners and cutting diagonally. And you will be left with mostly just the core. Now, I'm not worried about leaving a little bit of cabbage on this because we've had some special, oh, sorry about that noise, Jake is washing the house. We've had some special happenings here on the homestead today. So, let's get this chopped up, these little pieces. We can leave little. That behind me, I have our water already heating up because what we want to do is blanch this. Now, is it absolutely necessary to blanch it? I don't think so. I've seen plenty of people who don't, but, 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 listen carefully. Oh, I'm so sorry about that noise. If you don't blanch this first, you are going If you don't blanch this first, you're going to have a lot of shrinkage in your jars and have a lot of empty space for floating cabbage. So I'm just cutting this up into pieces that are the sizes we like for eating. I'm going to finish this, but while I'm doing this, I thought you might like to see what happened on the homestead this morning before Alyssa and I went dress shopping. I'll be right back. Oh, we have some exciting things on hey, happening on the homestead this morning. Oh, he's much easier than the girls. Really? <laughs> him coming today. <laughs> All right, guys. Did y'all enjoy seeing our newest addition? Is he not the cutest thing? He, 
looking crooked. <laughs> um, he is the sweetest pig. He's not at all like our girls. He's not skittish at all. He has rooted the place up already. And somehow he's ended up with the name of Elvis. Elvis Jose. Oh, pardon me. It's Elvis Jose. I <laughs> didn't know we were adding the second part. But um, anyway, so all of these will go to him and the girls. These are just the outer leaves. I took off of these cabbages. I think our water is almost up to boil. When it is, I will drop in all of the cabbage and boil it for three minutes. Let's get the cabbage in. Guys, this won't splash because you've got the cabbage there already on the top of the water. This is Cabbage Mountain. I'm just pushing the cabbage down into the water and when it starts boiling again we'll set the timer for three minutes if you can see back here I've already got supper going on the back we're actually having cabbage tonight we're making coleslaw and pinto beans and cowboy is grilling a roast so anyway we'll be right back when this has boiled can y'all see how much the cabbage is already shrinking? That's exactly what you want. You want your cabbage to shrink here and not in your jars. So this is perfect. It's not yet boiling. We are, we are still waiting. All right, we are now boiling. So I'm going to set the timer for three minutes. And this you kind of want to pack it into the jars tightly not super super tight because it's already done a lot of shrinking but I just use a slotted spoon unless it's got hiccups <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to pack it to one inch headspace we'll be back Have our last jar filled. Those three cabbages ended up giving me eight jars. This one is not quite as full as the other jars, but it is pretty doggone close. So let's talk about something else. One thing I have seen is to take fresh boiling water and pour over these. But you guys, why do I want to do that when I have the cooking liquid? Poor Elizabeth, she's still got to up. <laughs> I have the pouring liquid here that is still hot and all my nutrients cooked into this. Not all of them, but a good many of them. It's going right back into my jars of cabbage. Oops, I needed this. So, what we will do is fill to one inch headspace. Now, no, this is not going to be as clear and pretty as fresh, clean water, but it will be healthier. At least in my head, what do you think? So. Let us get these filled and we'll be, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> we will be right back. Okay, that guys. Now, another important part with cabbage is you really need to make sure you get the air bubbles out of here. As many as you can. Will you get all of them? Probably not. But you want to get as many as possible. Can you see how it's making the water level go down? 
When I'm done, I will come back and top them off with more water to bring them back up to one inch head space. But, whoa, where'd y'all go? <laughs> come back, don't leave me. Are y'all there? Okay. Um, sorry, Alyssa dropped the camera. But what was I gonna say? I got distracted. <laughs> oh, oh, one thing I have seen people list as a disadvantage of canning cabbage is that it gets soft. You guys, you guys, it gets soft. I'm from the South people. Is there any other way to eat this cabbage? Mm -mm. A southerner would eat our cabbage well done and it gets soft. Now, I don't know who eats crunchy cabbage, but it ain't us. So, I don't have one single problem with this cabbage getting soft. In fact, that's why I was so excited about canning cabbage because it gets messy. You saw the mess I made, but um, this, I can just open the jar, pop it right in the pan, throw some Polish kiel or Polska kielbasa right in there with it, fry it up, whatever, yum. Got a meal in a pot, throw some cornbread with it. And some good eating, guys, some good eating. Y'all don't know how to eat this stuff, y'all come on down to the south. Janet will teach you. So. Let me finish getting all the bubbles out of here, and I'll show you the next step. We are almost ready to put these in the canner. What I am going to do is add one teaspoon of salt per jar, and then I'm going to top the jars back off, top the jars off with a little bit more water just to bring them back up, and wipe off the rims. All right, are we ready? We're going to wipe the rim of each jar. Let me just do this one to show you, then I'll finish the rest. I like to line the word ball on the lid up with the word ball on the jar, and then put a ring on, just finger tight. When the jar starts turning, it's tight enough. So, let's get the rest of these done, and we'll be right back to put them in the canner. Last one. Y'all ready to put them in the canner? Let's go. Let me measure this water real fast. This is my All-American. I'm supposed to have three inches of water in the bottom. I had it at three inches, but it looks like, yeah, it's evaporating. Give me just a second. Let me add some water. Oh yeah, okay, now, it's important, make sure you check the instructions for your canner and have the right amount of liquid. Right, this is hot, be careful. First one in. All right guys, I'm going to get these in and then we'll be right back. Okay, I have the five down in there. I can fit more, but I'm just gonna put the last three here on top. Two, I've got one more and three. All right, let's get the lid on. Turn it the right way. On my planner, I line up my arrows. You probably have arrows or notches, something. Just check the instructions on your planner. And then I do opposite sides when I'm locking the bolts or the nuts. What do you call these? I don't know. Whatever they call them. They are called. Now don't lock it all the way down until I get all of them up and check around the canner to make sure it's not real thin on one side and a lot of space on this side. So let me give it a quick look. And let's lower this side a little bit. There we go. You can see there's very little space here. See that little crack? But I've got a big crack over here, so 
just need to adjust it. And I'll just keep going around until I get it the way I like it, and then we'll lock it down. All right. <laughs> Took me a second that time to get it adjusted. It's important, you don't want a lot of space on one side and a little bit of space on the other because what will happen is you will not get a good seal and steam will escape from under here. And you don't want that. It won't build up pressure correctly. So we've got it locked down. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little. Now you guys, if you've been with me and watched my other canning videos, you know that I do not ever put my heat on high. I don't find it necessary and for my situation, I find it makes the siphoning worse. So I do everything low and slow. Now, we'll wait till steam starts coming out of here and we'll time it for 10 minutes. We're cleaning up the kitchen. I need to run this out to the pigs while this is still coming up. Um, it'll only take a minute, it's okay. We'll be right back. Big old thing. Come on, boy. Come on, Elvis. It's so nice and clean now. Jake has been working hard all day. All right. We have, yeah, <laughs> see what I was doing. We have steam. Make sure it's coming out constantly. That is not, just a minute. Right now we have constant, ooh, constant steam. So I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. There we go. Alrighty, the timer just went off. So, we're going to put on the regulator. Put it at 10 pounds for where I live. Oh. Okay. And we will let this come up to 11 pounds pressure on the gauge. And when this thing starts rattling, we will set the timer for 55 minutes. Okay, perfect timing. I just finished the slaw for tonight's supper. And this is just about to start. Any second now. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. There we go. We'll give it just a minute, not a minute more, but just a second more to let it get going good, and then we'll set the timer for 55 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and set it. 55. And again, I've seen this. where people, actual books, the ball book, other books, 
anywhere from 35 to 45 to 55 minutes. I am going by the county extension. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Something. It's one of their canning books by the extension service. It's an older one. And back then, it was okay to can cabbage. Thousands of people did it every single year. So that's what I'm going with. Okay, our beans are done, the slaw is done. So now all I have to do is get the cornbread ready. Turn it off and we will leave it here till this comes down to zero pressure. When the needle is resting on this peg, it will be safe to take off the regulator and take off the lid. Supper's done. I broke my cornbread trying to get it out of the pan. I hit it with the glass tray. And this is almost done. In just a few minutes we'll be able to get the jars out. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this regulator off. We are at zero pounds pressure. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going, sorry, I was eating. We're going to unlock it and just let it sit for a few minutes and cool. I don't want to open it right now. I like to let it cool down slowly to prevent so much siphoning. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, let's open it just a little bit and vent it. I'll just put pot holders in there. If you've seen my other canning videos, you know that's how I do it. So hold on just a second. There we go. Now we'll leave it for another 10 minutes. Alright folks, I know it still has a little bit of time, but it's late. I'm ready to sit down. I'm ready to be done. So let's get these out. already see that they're siphoning too much oh, it's messing up. but that's just the way it's gonna have to be we'll do better next time we'll start early Sometimes. 
So we had a huge busy day, you guys. We started out with our new board. I hope you enjoyed that footage. And then Alyssa and I went dress shopping, and we stopped at the store and grabbed cabbage, and we came home and got it canned and cooked supper. So it's been a long day. We are tired, but we are so thankful that you came and joined us. We always love it when you come and join us. So until we meet again, may you be blessed. Sorry, you guys. That old Alyssa, she cut me off. I was trying to say I love you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can share and comment or all of the above.